Yo, what's happening? Breaking news, breaking news. We're going to be talking about the PlayStation 3 system software update, the 4.89. Now, you're probably wondering, wait, didn't you make a video about this? Well, yes, yes, I did. But Sony likes to be a little, you know, punk. They like to hide things. And they like to, you know, not be upfront with their, uh, with their fan base. So let's talk about the update again. This is an update on the PlayStation 3 software where it was released on 5th, you know, May 10th, 2022. Blah, 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 blah. All right. And it doesn't really talk about it too much. In the bottom, it says right here that account creations have to be done online now. And you're going to do the two-step verification. So you got that info, right? Now, I don't know if anyone remember, but the Vita also got an update. So this one was released on the same day, pretty much. And it says, always update the system to latest version of the system software by, you know, blah, blah. It's just telling you what to do, but it doesn't tell you what it actually does. Right here, it just tells you how to update, but it doesn't actually tell you what the update is about. Well, they decided to pretty much not tell anybody, so we'll go right here. From May 12, I mean... Pfft, May 11, 2022, content cannot be transferred from PS3 consoles to Vita systems. Content can still download directly to PS3 consoles or PS Vita systems, or it can be transferred using a PC. Okay, so it doesn't make any sense why you took off this feature. And the fact that you have the audacity to not tell anybody about it is pretty ridiculous. I talked about it with some people I'm not sure if I mentioned in my video but I talked about it and I said I feel like Sony wasn't up front about what they actually did with the update and I feel like personally they're tr this update for me felt like it's an update to get rid of the PlayStation players and apparently they're not just going for the PS PlayStation 3 players they're going for the Vita players as well and I feel like they're trying very hard for everyone to stop playing on the older console considering they made that new subscription on the playstation 4 or 5 or whatever the one that makes you play ps3 games and this is just at this point ridiculous existing playstation plus subscriptions will not be affected by these changes you can access and download all your playstation plus content uh, i wonder why right when you're playing playstation plus subscription they're gonna not mess with you so it does talk about the two-step verification right here. It tells you what you could do. Um, I don't know about this one. Okay, so it says you can no longer use your debit card. Everyone, these are some old updates. If you don't, uh, if you haven't kept up in mind, then you you shouldn't. Uh, you probably should uh, watch some of my other videos. So my thing is. What's going on? Why would you do that? So if you don't know, I, I can't speak for every Vita player. I do play on the Vita. I legit have played a bunch of games on the Vita. Vita is it's a pretty good console. I, I like it. At first, I wasn't very a big fan of it, but we could talk about that in a different video. That's not something we're going to be talking about. And the thing is, for me at least, the PlayStation Store on the Vita opens when it wants to. It doesn't open... It doesn't really open when I want it to. It opens when it wants to. There's people that have said, like, I, I browsed, I've browsed on the PlayStation Store. I'll probably do a video on that, on the Vita Store. And it doesn't show that many games compared to the PS3 console. So what some people have been doing is they go on their PlayStation 3, because you could buy a PlayStation 3 for like 50 bucks, not that expensive. And uh, you could pretty much buy the games on the PS3, download them and just transfer them to your Vita. Simple as that. But apparently, uh, they don't want you to do that. They really don't like anybody on the PlayStation 3 or Vita. They don't like. They don't like us. I think they're really trying to get rid of the last remaining like PlayStation 3 and Vita players because they want them to upgrade. Most companies do. That's why Nintendo always shuts down their e stores because they want you to upgrade they don't want it to stay in the previous console i i don't understand it i really don't get it why they do this but it's just a bad habit that they have so 
pretty much this has been a thing now this was the breaking news i don't know what else to say besides sony's coming after you guys vita playstation 3 players get ready because it's gonna be a wild ride soon peace